Good morning, guys. It's Rochelle from Monoling Furniture in Chile, Sydney. Today, I'm doing another re-makeover. Bit of different to the times I've done it previously, but let's have a look. I'll explain what I'm talking about. Right, so this is a, uh, a set that I did a few weeks back. I didn't record it. Um, this was a customer piece. She brought it to me. This is the specs that she wanted. She she picked it up. She was happy. And then she saw another set that I did last week in Anchor that she loved. And so we swapped them out. Basically, I bought these back off her for a reduced fee. And she bought the other ones from me. So now I'm going to redo these. At the moment, I'm thinking I'm going to be painting them in silk sunkissed. Don't hold me to that, okay? I'm just going to fill this with the white mud because I'm going with a light colour. Maybe, possibly, possibly not. Anyway, I'm going to go with this. Fill it with this. So I'm using the Dixie Bell spatula. I'm making a mess here, aren't I? I'm like a toddler playing with putty or something. Play-doh. And oh my word, I'm throwing this everywhere. I might as well just get a knife and fork and try and put it on i am going to hit the woodie bend on this one this is a new one i just got and it's beautiful look at it what flowers are they are they roses no they're not roses are they i don't know what it is but it's beautiful right so this is my plan that you get you get them in a set of two so this is hang on let me just tell you the number would you bend one four one three it's in a set of two so they're opposite so one will face this way one will face that way so i'm going to start these at the bottom so i'm going to slice it there which means it'll move up to there so the whole thing is going to span probably up to about here right i'm just going to warm this up to make it pliable i'm going to do it on this blanket it's not the ideal solution but um it's really windy and when i'm trying to do it on the concrete anyway this is what i'm doing don't do as i do do as i say so what i've got ready with me my knife to slice it and my glue to stick it on um well bond i get this from bunnings um in the us Dixie Bell selling uh, the, which I think is the equivalent to this, called tight bond. We don't get that here, so well bond it is for me. I don't know the science behind this. I don't care about the science behind it. To be honest, I just like that it works. So this is going to go here. Right, I've got it all over. I'm going to rub it in with my hand just because I like doing it. I like peeling it off after. It's not a necessary part of the process. Just a fun part. And the glue dries clear anyway. And you just wipe off any excess afterwards. But fill the entire piece. Don't be shy about this. Right, let's get this sucker on. I should really wait until I've done all this, but you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda, I'm not gonna. So I'm just gonna push it and hold it on. And then I'll get a cloth and wipe off the excess. Dries really quickly, this weld bond. 
So once I've got a good hold, I'm just going to go and get a cloth now, wipe it off, and then I'll move on to the next one. So this is the easiest way I've found to get the glue, any excess glue out after it's starting to set. It's just a little brush. Like I say, it dries, it dries clear anyway, and you can paint over the glue. But this is just a good way to get it out during that drying process. Right, so I'm actually deciding to break it up. So if I was to just stick with just this one piece here, um, the way that I worked it out, I, I want a bigger piece up here. So my plan now is to sort of break it up a bit. So this is a piece from the other one. And I'm going to put that here so that it's filling this, filling this entire side. And then I'm going to do less on the other side. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it, but this is the, the road I'm going to take. Because I think that's more cohesive for the, the vine to be going all the way up there. Right, so I'll just show you what I've got at the moment. So I've basically used one and a half on each side. Um, I may not put anything on this side, or I may just put something down the bottom. I'm not sure. I'm just going to let it dry for now. I'm going to go inside and have a brew. And then I'm going to come back and I'll just show you as well. So you can see on this one, the glue is wet and it just looks pretty much white. Over here it's dried and it's clear. So don't worry about the glue. Um, don't be impatient like me though and just wait for that to dry. I've created more work for myself. It is stupid of me. But, you know, that is what I do. I haven't got any patience. Right, whilst I'm waiting for the would you bend to dry... I'm going to get a layer of sun kissed on. This is the silk all in one. Always mix it up really well. This is a really nice colour. Very, very similar to the chalk mineral paint buttercream, which I really love. I'm not going to prime it. There's nothing, um, or put a blocker on rather. Um, there's no bleed through already. I'm at no risk of bleed through. I've already done what I need to do to this piece. Okay, I'm using my mini angle simply because this is one that's clean. And as you all know, I'm lazy. So at the moment, it's just got the woodgy bend on the one side. I might put transfers on the other. I'm literally, this is probably my worst wing it. Or it could be my best. But you know what I mean, I literally haven't known what I've been doing with this one and from the get-go. Right, that is three coats of the Sun Kissed on all of it, the wood you bend as well. When you're doing the wood you bend, you want to get into the detailed area, so you kind of have to do a little bit of stabbing motion with your with your brush. I've decided I obviously decided to just do the one side, and I'm gonna have on the other side um the Magnolia Garlic Garden Transfer, and I may even incorporate it into the Wood You Bend. I'm undecided at this point if I want the two to match. I've got two packs of these, so I could do them identical. But that's a bit boring, isn't it? So let's just have a little play with what I want here first, shall we? Right, I'm going to have that coming out of there for now. Right in there. Let's go. I love how easy these are. This is actually the most relaxing, um, what's the word? I'm just gonna go with the word thing, because that's not the right word, but um, then I was gonna say procedure. Oh my word. Anyway, this relaxes me. And as you know, it takes a lot to relax me. These come off so easily. I just press and pull at the same time. If you see something's not 
burnish, just push it back down and rub a bit more. Look how easy that is. There. See how much thought went into that? That fits. Go. Okay, I'm just going to carry on with this. You've seen me do it before. So I'm going to put some on this side, some on this side. I'm not going to lie. I love that. Look at it. I think I'll do the other one not the same. So that would be different, wouldn't it? Not, not the same. So I've layered some here, here. So pretty. I still don't even know what draw pulls are going on there. Right, so I'm going to go in with the gold gilding wax. This is the oil-based one. Bailey, can you stop doing that, please? Oh, I just love it. I'm just going to use what's on the top. I'm not going to use what's in the actual container. I'm going to put it on with my finger, tiny bit. I'm just going to hit the high spots. And there's a good chance that I'm going to do a few different layers on this of different colours. I don't know. I want to try and tie it in with um, the transfer, which I think this is doing. But I think just one colour won't cut it. So I may throw some silver in as well. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Well, what can I say? I'm lost for words with this one. I got lucky with these draw pulls I forgot I had. These leaves. Perfect. And look at the gilding wax on that. Thanks again for sticking with me guys, didn't they turn out well? Details of all the products will be in the description. Take care, I'll see you next time and have a great day.